Folks, this is another version of the Cat Vocational Truck lineup of the 681 series. And Charlie Pepper is with us. How are you? I'm good. Oh, doing well. you're looking well. Thanks. Tell us about this. What have you changed from last year's introduction? Well, this truck specifically, uh, we changed the front axle spacing. We've come closer to the bumper, so we have a 28 so inch. So you're forward. We're a set forward axle with this truck okay. to help maximize the bridge formula. Absolutely. Dump trucks, mixers, and those applications. So we've got a 28 inch bumper to center line, a front axle, and we've uh, we've done some other things with the radiator and the cooling package. We've set them above the frame to provide a possibility of a full front frame extension uh -huh. for snow plows, yeah. winches, okay. outriggers, or potentially a hose reel. So this so. comes with a PTO, everything? This doesn't come standard with a FEPTO, the front engine PTO, but it it's does have the option for it. Yeah. No big deal. Easy. Yep, absolutely. So. Now, what's the max on the uh, B2B, actually, uh, back of cab BBC? This truck specifically is 114 wow. from, from front bumper to the back of cab, which again provides excellent space for a body to maximize that bridge formula dump now, truck. This this dump has been obviously configured for a fat load. That is a big dump body on there. Correct. This, this is a dump body you commonly see in Arizona termed a uh, Super 18, meaning it's got 18 wheels on the ground, and this particular body has been built so light that we can haul roughly 25 and a half tons in this, which is over the standard dump truck in this area. Really? It is. Now, is this something that's unique to one particular region of the country as opposed to others? Because I know there are different bridge formulas. I mean, there's a standard for the federal, but some states are really kind of super particular. Right, right, yeah. So this, this particular body on this setup is great for Arizona, Nevada, and some of the, the states that allow more weight on the road. Right. You go into California, uh, you may see a different version of the strong arm without as many lift axles, and their max tonnage is lower. Now, one of the features you were telling me about before the interview was, of course, the what the operator's got to do. And you're, you're telling me that the operator just sits there and everything is done for him as far as weight distribution, axle-wise? It is. So on this particular truck, we've integrated a lot of technology uh, partnering with this body manufacturer. It's, it's a simple touch screen. You hit one button to lower the strong arm, one button for the tarp, one button for the lift axles, and it knows how much weight's in the bed, and it will adjust the amount of pressure per wheel to where you're legal to run down the road. This is just something else. And again, it's all part of technology and what's being done today in the industry. And this, of course, is can be totally equipped to handle virtually any sort of vocational lineup. That's correct. That's correct. This, uh, in a truck form, this will only be available in a 6x4 truck. So okay. you, there won't be tractor options, but primarily with this bumper to back of cab, that is a, a truck configuration. But that's the purpose of the axle forward. Correct. And your weight distribution. Correct. Absolutely. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for chatting, Much Roger. luck with this uh, new 681.